I want to emphasize, this is not the first time Russia has invaded a former Soviet state. In 2008, Vladimir Putin sent military troops into the Republic of Georgia. That led to a conflict that left hundreds dead. Mikhail Shakasvili is the former president of the Republic of Georgia. He just landed here in New York from Kiev this afternoon. He's been meeting with leaders in Ukraine, speaking to uh, Ukrainian, the Ukrainian public. He joins me with former military and intelligence officer Colonel Cedric Layton and military analyst General Spider Marks. All right, great to have all of you with us. Uh, but uh, President Shakasvili, let me start with you. You were just in Kiev. You've been yes. there all week. Uh, what do you see on the ground? Are you surprised to hear this at all? No, I'm not surprised. Actually, when in 2008 Georgia was invaded by Moscow, you know, by Russian army, uh, I was warning then. I was warning prior to that invasion that first Georgia will come and then Ukraine will come. That's the Putin is following his blueprint all the way through. And actually, uh, it coincidentally it happened both times during the, or around the time of Olympics. Then it was Beijing Olympics, and now it's Sochi Olympics. And actually, the blueprint is exactly the same as they applied in Georgia. The same scale. This kind of so-called unidentified troops that basically are regular to regular mm -hmm. special units of Russian army. We've seen them and we know them very well. We know their handwriting. It is exactly the same thing. And we are talking right now about full scale, basically full scale uh, legally and technically for full scale military invasion. That's all it is. I mean, they will gradually build it up. It's not even based on some mass scale local movement. So Putin is not even disguising it anymore. We're right. talking about 20, in 21st century invasion of 45 million people and country as a response to, to, to a democratic revolution that got rid of a bloody tyrant that fled to Russia. Uh, President Saakashvili, let me ask you this question. The, uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, according to House intelligence uh, officials here in the United States, controls the Crimean Peninsula now tonight. What will the Ukraine do about it? You've been in Kiev all week. You've been with opposition leaders. Are they able to fight look, back? Are they going to resist? Ukrainians. I think they were trying to start. They br just brought in new interim government. Uh, they, the whole thing was going very peaceful. I, I met with all the leaders uh, for the last several days and long conversations. They had very peaceful intentions just to do reforms, carry out democratic changes, open up Ukraine towards Europe. That's exactly the things Vladimir Putin cannot forgive them. He's going there because if Ukraine goes mm -hmm. democratic, normal, European, uh, like open society, then every Russian will ask Vladimir Putin why we cannot have the, it's the same Russia. He had the same problem with Georgia because Georgia was succeeding in mm -hmm. building a democratic society. He had to act on these false pretenses of pretending uh, of protecting some of our people. So uh, what uh, Ukraine has, Ukraine unlike Georgia has considerable army. They have officers corps. So they will, they now they, gave, they gave up nuclear weapons but their officers are very good and uh, by the way considerable chunk of officers in Russian army are ethnically Ukrainian. So it's not so clear how Russians can force those people to fight against their own homeland. Hmm. So the point here is we are really to going towards, that, that's the worst thing to, think, to get to the situation where we might get real war between two big European countries like Russia and Ukraine. In, and by the way, and Crimea also is a very important part for the rest of Europe. So, and then when we talk what the Americans can do, look, just very short, I mean, you don't, even if you don't send tanks, by the, by whatever the treaty obligations are, but you can certainly expel Russia from G8. You can certainly send tax inspectors to American banks banks and international banks where all the Putin's generals and all his corrupt officials around him, including himself. Putin is the most corrupt guy in the world.